All right, so now we're going to note that if we're on a unit circle, the cosine of the angle is actually the x value, and the sine of an angle is the y value. And we know that because the hypotenuse is 1. Remember, it's a unit circle, which means it has a radius of 1 in unity. So, and it makes sense, because if you draw your little triangle and you recognize your Sokotoa, the uh, cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, where the adjacent leg was root 3 over 2, and the hypotenuse was 1, just 1. So root 3 over 2 over 1 is root 3 over 2, which is the x value on the unit circle. So, if I'm trying to find the cosine of 30 degrees, I just look there, and I have root 3 over 2. And I can do this for any angle. So I can say that the uh, sine of 30 degrees is the y value of the 30 degrees is 1 half. I can say the sine of 90 is the y value at 90 degrees up here. And I can label that point, I'm 0 on the x and 1 up on the y because it's a radius of 1. So the sine of 90 is the y value at that point is 1. The cosine of 0, if I label an angle of 0, that's 1 on the x and 0 on the y. So the cosine of 0 is 1. Um, I labeled this bottom half, sorry I was too lazy to label those. But uh, if you want the sine of 315 degrees, that's the y value there, so just negative root 2 over 2. And the cosine of 300 degrees is the x value of 300 degrees, is a half. Now where I'm getting all these angles is that your angles are always coming from this axis. So 300 degrees means I'm 300 degrees that way, right? So it's 100 more than 180. The way I usually think of them, it's not quite 360, but it fell 60 degrees short. And uh, same thing with like the 330, it's not quite 360, it fell 30 degrees short. So that's why it's got the 30 degree reference angle. So if you notice that there's tons of patterns in this unit circle. Those are the same, those are the same, those are the same. And the x and y coordinates are um, like you can tell that the cosine is all positive on this side, right? Because the x values for the cosine are all positive on this side. And the y and uh, the cosine is negative in these quadrants. Same thing because the sine is the y value. The sine is positive in these quadrants and sine is negative in those quadrants. A lot of students learn the mnemonic, the all students take calc, which means that all of the trig functions are positive in here. Only the sine of sine, cosine, and tangent are, is positive in here, only the tangent is positive here, and only the cosine is positive there. But I don't like it because, uh, I mean, as long as you know that x is positive here and negative there, that seems more intuitive to me. But some students, like all students, take calcs, so whatever works for you. And that's that.